welcome to this Cavco tutorial where we're going to take a 3D relief beautiful lion actually now you can you can get this relief from eBay but just be careful who you are buying it from okay so we'll go straight into it uh, you won't see too much of me in this oh by the way underneath this uh, video in the video description area you will find my Cavco discount code okay so we'll make me a little smaller in fact we might turn me off altogether although I am using the professional Cavco program any of the Cavco programs will carry out this operation uh, it's a very very powerful program even Cavco maker so we'll get rid of me for a little while and what I'm going to do uh, now I've just got this open to a, a blank page and we're going to take this 3d relief right click on it and just drag it into Cavco okay it's rather big so let's make this a manageable size so we're going to say 100 which is four inches by the way or thereabouts now I like when I'm doing a circular 3d relief like this I like to work from the middle uh, you'll see why uh, shortly now I've got a piece of brass that's uh, three millimeters in thickness so I need this the, the deepest part of the cabin to be no more than two millimeters okay and that's all we need to do so I'm going to say okay and we'll go to a larger full screen picture and it's a little messy now sometimes when you uh, purchase a relief and this is one of the reasons actually I say be careful where you're purchasing it purchasing your relief from because I just purchased it directly from uh, eBay uh, not really considering who I was purchasing it from and uh, of course it was a I don't know whether it was a recommended seller or what but it's a real dirty um, you know a lot of noise in the relief um, but that isn't a problem with Cavco it would be to some other programs so what I'm going to do is just very very quickly clean this up so we're in the 3d window which is exactly where we want to work from and all I'm going to do is come here to smooth relief now this is available in any of the Cavco programs so we just click on that and you comes up with this dialog box we want to do the whole relief we want to get rid of all the, all the mess all the muck or technically called noise so what you do you catch out of the slider bar and in real time you can see exactly what Cavco will do now if you go too far you lose some of the clarity you know the hair above the eyebrows uh, so we want to keep some of that but we just want to get rid of the noise okay so you see noise and you see it just blend out um, back a little let's try 40 percent mm, I want a little bit more clarity uh, somewhere there 25 percent a little bit more up let's go to 30 percent I think that's good there and release and apply so you can see where it's you know got rid of all the noise we're not interested in the noise out here in the gray area 
we're interested in the noise in the actual 3D relief. But we didn't want to smooth it out so much as that we lose all the detail. Okay, we, we need all this detail because we're going to machine this with a conical tool, a very sharp conical tool for engraving. So that's what we're going to do right now. But first, we don't want to you know, waste any time machining the grey part of the area out here. So what we're going to do, we're going to come over here, choose the circle tool. And this is one of the reasons why I work with a circular object at the middle. It's very easy to pick the middle of the relief, right click and draw the circle out. And you'll notice it's not quite symmetrical. So what I'm going to do with this bottom edge here, I'm going to get it fairly close. Release. And I'm going to create that. But then I'm going to come over here to the transform tool. I'm going to select this handle here and pull it in. Like so. And then this one here, like so. That's perfect. I think that'll do. Okay, what I did there, I just select, selected the select tool, came onto the screen and just right clicked, which deselects uh, that. And you can see that it, you know, it's as perfect as it needs to be. So having, having got this tool selected, we're going to reselect that. Boundary layer. That is now become our boundary layer. And we're going to ask Kafko to machine anything on the inside of that boundary layer that we just made. So I'm going to come straight up here now to tool paths, 3D tool path, machine relief, and this is where you make some changes. You come in here, we don't want the whole relief to be machined because because it would machine all the way out right out to the, the apexes here, the whole load of grey there. So it's a selected vectors. And you can also elect to machine on the inside of the selected vector or your boundary layer or the outside of it. So we're, we're set with the inside, which is correct. Now we open up our tooling list and we want the sharpest tool the sharpest conical tool that we can get. I think there's one sharper than that. I'm not sure. Um, no, that will be fine. That's the sharpest one in the listing. That is pretty well a point. Like a needle. Okay, so we're going to select that tool. Now we're going to modify it. Now, I know through experience that if you, if you left it at the step over at 0 0.005, it would take two days to machine it. <laughs> now, that's exaggeration, but it would take quite a while. So, I'm going to make that 9. Uh, because if you notice the diameter of the point okay is 0 0.01 of a millimeter which is very small not quite a needle but it's very very small so what I've done here is I've elected to go a very very minute 
a thousandth of an inch actually smaller than the circumference then of the point which means it won't leave any lines any machining lines because it is very very slightly we're talking microns here overlapping each cut and that's fine uh, step down now we know that the material is three millimeters in depth the maximum depth of the relief we have set at two millimeters so we can put this to 2.5 millimeters step down feed rate now my machine is very very rigid so it will go an awful lot faster than that 250 millimeters per minute uh, plunge rate I'm going to set at 200 millimeters per minute and an RPM of 24,000 in actual fact I, I could raise this up quite a bit more we're going to leave this this setting as it is at the moment it will actually do a lot more than that my machine but uh, for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to you know leave these figures as they are okay so you know you can choose raster which means it'll it'll start down here and go back and forth back and forth back and forth but in this type of carving especially into into metal brass um, yes definitely a spiral and that's all we need to change here this is already set up to my normal what I normally use now then the material we know is three millimeters and zeros top of the block so we're going to okay that so we're going to write this down as um, test nine in this case and calculate now okay that took a few seconds to calculate and in the background I've been calculating and I'm going to alter this right now to 11 40 millimeters and 600 because that works out to be three quarters of an inch per second so I'm going to recalculate and um, that's what we'll stick with a lot of red lines there so the next thing we're going to do is to simulate so we're going to do this fast because it's a lot of um, you know a lot of lot of lines so let's simulate it okay there you go so that's what the end result is going to be and if you see any mistakes on this it's also going to replicate those mistakes in your piece of work and you can see that this is pretty well perfect absolutely lovely 3d relief that is probably the best sort of um, brass knocker lion <laughs> that uh, that I've seen anywhere actually it's very very well done so the next thing we need to do now is to save our relief so we come here to the save tool path click on that it's only the one tool path with the conical tool you know carving something like this really wasting your time in doing a roughing cut uh, you know it's really up to you whether you want to do that uh, I'm going to save it to my desktop 
file name, you know, you can call it whatever you want to distinguish what it is. Um, now, you'll see here that I have G-code millimeter tap selected. That is a good all-rounder, whether you're using, you know, whatever you're using. But it, like I say, it's a good all-rounder. Mac 3 recognizes it. Mac 4 recognizes it and other programs. Yeah. So it's a good all-rounder and that's the one I normally use but you know in within Cavco you know it, it, you can save it in virtually thousands of different codes. But uh, G-code millimeter tap is the one I generally use and I never have a problem with it. So I'm going to save that Incidentally, that's a big file. That's probably a million lines of code. Okay, so that is how you bring a 3D relief into any of the CAV code programs and clean it up if it requires it and create the tool paths and uh, even how to create a boundary layer and machine inside of it. Uh, to a very, very nice end product. So, please, press like, subscribe, and if you really like what I'm doing, you may consider becoming a patron to the channel, because it is the patrons behind the channel that keep it all going. And also, if you're interested in any of the Cavco products uh, underneath this video, you're in the video description area, you will find an official CAVCO discount code. And that applies right across the board, even if you go for the professional CAVCO program, you still get the discount. Okay then, so until the next video, bye for now.